like 70 to 80 dollars per hour pharmacists can earn after the licensing is there any good standing certificate they also ask for yes kuch document chahiye kya for registration purpose there is no requirement of uh, getting registered in your home country so ye kitna time mein complete hota hai in general kya ek on an average time lagta hai isme once you get the certificate that your doc- you are evaluated your degree is evaluated hmm. then you are eligible to apply for evaluating exam and email aur kya aayega basically So hello everyone welcome to you all once again today with us Rajpri she is from Canada and uh, Rajpri is with you study karti hai and unko bahut zyada knowledge hai you know PBC ka process ke bare mein so i will talk about this PBC exam step by step process and kya salary wahan pe hoti hai salary kaise milti hai generally you know and Canada mein log kaise rehte hain all those things and uh, उसका स्टेप कौन कौन से होते हैं एंड टुडे वेरी डिटेल जो पार्ट वन है उस पर हम बात करेंगे जो डॉक्यूमेंट वेरिफिकेशन जो स्टेप वन होता है ठीक है तो हाय राज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम थैंक यू सर हेलो तो राज यू कैन जस्ट गिव अस यू नो हाउ टू गेट रजिस्टर्ड एज ए फार्मासिस्ट इन इन कैनेडा एंड वॉट आर द स्टेप नीड टू टेक इफ समन इज फ्रॉम इंडिया और एनी अदर कंट्री okay so uh, if we talk about the general step like uh, what as a f- international pharmacy graduate needs to do if the first one is to clear the examinations there are three examinations that are like I international mean, pharm- like uh, yeah. right like, like document verification yeah. first then only they can write the exam right oh yeah, yeah. so uh, first one uh, like will be the document evaluation where uh, the like you will evaluate the degree like the international degree of yours you will match with the canadian standards so they do the document evaluation uh, so for document evaluation uh, yeah, like for so obviously I mean, you have to uh, i mean like first step document verification then you need to write this mcq exam you know in your home country then next exam need to be in canada so these are the steps and english cup then i ek thoda sa bahut short mein bata do ye kon kon teen char step hote hain okay so first step is document evaluation after the document once your documents are evaluated then you have to give the evaluating exam that is the first exam evaluating exam uh, uh, can be given from your home country as well as if you are in canada you can also attempt it is uh, like uh, conducted four times a year and it is a computer based exam after evaluating exam there is the second exam that you have to attempt is the qualifying exam that is the part 2 qualifying exam has two part part a and part b part a includes like mcq exams 200 mcq exams the same as uh, evaluating exam it is a computer based exam and the part b is oski where they evaluate the practical knowledge of a pharmacist like how a pharmacist performs in front of a patient so there are eight, total eight stages or eight stations in that exam based on the uh, like difficulty wise and uh, this exam like the evaluating uh, oski exam uh, basically evaluates like what or uh, how you will uh, like perform or manage a pharmacy in canada तो सतपुर आज भी कितना सब पता भी था कनाडा में जनरली कितना सैलरी मिलता है इन जनरल ऑन एन एवरेज फॉर फार्मासिस्ट को बच्चे बहुत सारे जो इंडिया से हैं दे वांट टू नो कि सैलरी कितना अर्निंग होता है कनाडा के अंदर oh of course so for uh, if we talk about salary purpose then uh, here there are uh, like 10 provinces and there are te- uh, territories also so if someone wants to work like uh, in the provinces then the in provinces uh, the salary range can be 50 to 60 dollars per hour uh, it also depends on the demand of the pharmacist if you work if you want to work in a rural, rural area then the uh, salary can go like Eighty dollars per hour as well, and if you want to work in the territories, uh, there the salary is quite high, like seventy to eighty dollars per hour. Pharmacists can earn after the licensing. So generally, how many hours for pharmacists work? करते हैं forty hours weekly. Yes, uh, so uh, generally pharmacists like the working hours here is limited. It's so it's forty hours per week. Uh, it's considered as a full time work. and pharmacists do work for 40 hours if uh, if you own a pharmacy then you can work extra 
बट इफ यू आर वर्किंग फॉर समवन एल्स इट्स फोर्टी आवर्स पर एंड सैलरी क्या ये मंथली मिलती है या एवरी टू वीक पे मिलती है इसे पे मिलती है Yes, so uh, here also, like the system is that you get the salary uh, every two weeks. Okay. Bi-weekly, your paycheck comes. So it's like good for like managing your finances. I mean, you know, everything every weekly because rental and your own expenses also generally up every two week. Pay pay करते हो और salary भी उसी accordingly every two week पे आता है आ यू नो. Okay. So Raj, we uh, we could talk about the step one process document evolution में. एंड क्या क्या करना होता है कौन कौन से डॉक्यूमेंट्स मांगता है और कहाँ अप्लाई करना कौन सी वेबसाइट है क्या है यू कैन जस्ट गिव अ मोर डिटेल ओके सो फर्स्टली यू विल रजिस्टर इन द एट नेपरा अकाउंट यू विल मेक अ नेपरा अकाउंट दैट इज अ नेशनल फार्मेसी अकाउंट एंड आफ्टर लाइक यू पे द फी द फी फॉर नेपरा लाइक अकाउंट और नेपरा नंबर इज अराउंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव डॉलर प्लस टैक्सेस Uh, so once you open that account, you will get a NAPRA ID, which is a national uh, identification number for pharmacist. After the NAPRA uh, registration, the second step will be creating your PEBC ID. So PEBC is basically an examination board. So you have to create uh, like you will be attempting all the PEBC examinations. So you have to register for P with PEBC as well. So uh, the then uh, like you have to get the pbc number pbc id uh, for that the like the amount is around 715 canadian dollars plus taxes for uh, after doing getting the pbc id you will fill out a form for like given by the pbc uh, you will get all the all the all the documents notarized from like a lawyer the documents that are required Includes your degree certificate, I, your transcript. You you mean जो भी documents या original copy नहीं देने हो उसका जो scan copy है India में करा के and जो notarized lawyer होता है आपके nearby जो आपका जो कचहरी इसको बोल सकते हैं generally जो हमने India में बोलते हैं वहाँ जाके notarized side document कराने तो कौन कौन से documents होते हैं ऐसे? Yeah, so the documents that you like there are three. Three steps for document evaluation. First one is transcript. So transcript is usually given by the university. So whenever like you are applying for PEBC uh, document evaluation, you can contact your own university, and your university will guide you with the procedure of like some universities do like uh, give the uh, e copy to like send the e copy to PEBC. Some don't. Some give you the like uh, paper copy. so uh, you have to contact your university for that after the sec- that step if you are registered in uh, like uh, in in your home country if you are a registered pharmacist then uh, the another set of documents goes from your state pharmacy council so, so registration s- hona mandatory hai any for example bahut sare bachche kya karte hain jo final year pharm d mein hai ya b pharm mein final year mein hai unka abhi complete matlab unko course complete ho gaya hai बट उनको भी डिग्री नहीं मिला है मतलब लाइक उनको प्रोविजनल डिग्री मिला है या उन्होंने रजिस्ट्रेशन अभी किया नहीं है या अप्लाई किया उनको मिला नहीं है तो क्या एलिजिबिलिटी है बेसिकली पीबीसी का यस सो फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन पर्पस देयर इज नो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ गेटिंग रजिस्टर्ड इन योर होम कंट्री फॉर इफ यू आर नॉट रजिस्टर्ड इन योर होम कंट्री देन यू हैव टू गिव अ डिक्लेरेशन दैट आई वाज नॉट रजिस्टर्ड इन माय होम कंट्री बिकॉज़ ऑफ सर्टेन रीजंस लाइक आई जस्ट कंप्लीटेड माय स्टडी एंड एंड देन आई मूव्ड डायरेक्टली टू कनाडा और समथिंग लाइक दैट और आई अप्लाइड एंड आई एम वेटिंग फॉर इट सो यू हैव टू गिव अ डिक्लेरेशन दैट इट इज नोटराइज्ड बाय लाइक लॉयर एंड यू हैव टू सबमिट दैट इफ यू डोंट हैव द रजिस्ट्रेशन ओके तो डिग्री चाहिए और रजिस्ट्रेशन चाहिए इधर है नहीं गुड स्टैंडिंग सर्टिफिकेट दे आल्सो आस्क फॉर जैसे कुछ डॉक्यूमेंट चाहिए क्या यस सो द सेकंड सेट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट इज गिवन बाय द स्टेट काउंसिल सो स्टेट काउंसिल यूजुअली हैव्स टू मेल द पीबीसी फॉर फॉर द लाइक फॉर द डॉक्यूमेंट्स व्हिच विल इंक्लूड द गुड स्टैंडिंग सर्टिफिकेट इफ दे डोंट देन यू हैव टू गेट द लाइक द and develop yourself and you have you can send it from the nearest uh like courier uh, office to P- directly to pebc and once you uh, like once this step is done like the state pharmacy council gives the doc- good standing uh, document 
a good standing certificate after that there is a, another set of documents that you as a like as a candidate have to share i have to mail the pvc and those document will include a degree certificate identification proof uh, which is preferably a passport like passport if you are in a canada or if you are already a pr of canada or a citizen of canada then you can give that documents as well like pr card or citizenship uh, passport uh, after that uh, you have to also give the birth certificate degree certificate like the or, like original degree certificate and uh, then uh, any government id which will which can be your passport or is also and if you are in canada then any uh, provincial uh, id proof uh, passport size passport size photograph and the pharmacist uh, like pbc gives a form that you have to fill out that form so all those all these documents uh, the document should be like color printed and it should be notarized uh, the the copy should be notarized by a lawyer and then you have to uh, seal in an envelope and you have to submit to the pbc so okay. this is what all document requirement is so ye kitna time mein complete hota in general kya ek on an average time lagta hai isme so uh the time that is required like after they receive the document after they start the process of document evaluation it says six weeks once you start the all the procedures after that like when you send all the documents I to mean, the pbc you know, i mean you know i mean generally jo time lagega this is from your side from the candidate side you know to collect the document request to university or request to your state pharmacy council but i can say yeah. if you can complete within one month all those things then two more months yeah. i think i can say in roughly two to three months will take to complete this entire process oh yes yes definitely yeah and then you need, obviously we are, what the next step is the exam need to need to write right yes uh, so after the document evaluation once you get the certificate that your doc you are evaluated your degree is evaluated mm -hmm. then you are eligible to apply for evaluating exam send email or kya aayega basically yes uh, so uh, whenever you will open the pbc account in that account there is a digital wallet where you will get the certificate uh, like you can download download the certificate and also a mail is sent to the registered email id Uh, stating that your document evaluation is completed so okay. this is the procedure so this is the step 1 and step 2 yeah. we will see you in next video thank you so much rajvi okay thank you